this is it. This is it, guys. The season three finale of King of the Nerds. Here's my review. Season three, episode eight, the Nerdtastic finale. Uh, here we go. It should take me less than two minutes to recap the episode, give you my pros and cons for the final score at the end. And uh, thanks so, so much for joining me. And uh, let me give you a special thank you at the end. I'll blow a kiss, switch the camera, just in case uh, any of you want it. Shall I go on? Here we go, guys. Um, real quick, if this is our final time with uh, King of the Nerds, I just want to say I love them. Here we go. Uh, so all the nerds pledge allegiance to the four remaining nerds, basically, you know, the ones that got eliminated past season, or in season three, like Jacob, Todd, Ori, other people. Uh, so basically there's going to be a quiz bowl, and Ben wins, Jonathan wins, Lily and Caitlin lose, so Lily and Caitlin are gone. So when Ben and Jonathan win, that means there's going to be a king, no more queen this season. Finally, a king actually wins, because a la king of the nerds, king. Thought I should point that out there real quick. Um, that was really cool, because it was an animat animatronic type of big monster, and he was kind of like, let's go, nerds. You know, kind of had that look. And then the guy at the top was like, hey, hey, don't ever beat us with our nerd brains. <laughs> and I'm basically saying how it was really cool. And I would like to be there. That'd, that'd be fun. And that was a really intense quiz bowl, by the way. So basically, everyone's back at Nerdvana. Col uh, uh, Nerdvana. Colby's there and everyone, and they're all together, and they're, they're dancing, and uh, girls, are, Rachel and them are dancing in the underwear, and literally, Rachel and Heather start kissing in bed, and I'm kind of like, wait, 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 wait. Dude. <laughs> I liked it, and I... I liked it though. I mean, not just for this. I'm, I'm saying like it was so random because this is King of the Nerds, and they're, they're they know how to party, man. And people say nerds don't know how to party. Where have you been? It's 2015. Seems like they enjoyed themselves, and I'm glad. Hey, and come on, Rachel dancing in underwear. Come on, you guys. Anyway, um, so seven nerd games. That's their final uh, war. Basically, how they're gonna do it. So chess. I believe that's how you say it, chess. Uh, Jonathan wins. Then it's Taken, Taken Tag Tournament. Jonathan wins. Crossword Puzzle. Ben wins. Um, they have to position the pocket like the pens and the paper clip and the erasers and all that. I don't know what game that is. It seemed pretty stupid, but obviously Jonathan wins. In, or no, Ben wins. Um, the nerd um, quotation... Ben wins, and Connect Four, Jonathan wins, and the Griddler, Jonathan wins, and Jonathan is our king of nerds, congratulations, and at the end we see a message that says, Bobby, hopefully get well, may the force be with you always, um, Bobby, who is the judge with the glasses, not Curtis Armstrong, but Bobby Carradine, I believe, excuse me if I got the name wrong, Bobby Carradine, he was in a car accident. He's, he's like, not life-threatening, but he was, you know, get well soon, man. Um, thank you for being a judge, and you're very amazing. <laughs> you know that laugh? You know we love it. We love you, Bobby. So, um, season four, maybe? Hashtag nerds rule. Please, hashtag nerds rule. Seriously, if you want to save King of the Nerds, I literally saw some people say, put hashtag nerds rule. Or hashtag renew K-O-T-N, Renew King of the Nerds. I don't know. Whichever works better for you guys. Anyway, let's talk about it. The nerd test again. Holy crap. Um, pros, man. First off, I love the nerd off nerd war. I don't even know if they call that anymore because there's only two people left. But that was intense. The chess game and everything. I mean, Ben and Jonathan. Them going at it. You know, you think Ben's going to win because Ben, he's a douche. He is. Like, at points, he could be kind of like... He wasn't a douche like Colby, but he, he could be at points where he's kind of like Zack, where in his mind he's like, I'm going to overrule them all type of thing. Like, I'm going to win. Shut up. Basically like that. And Jonathan's kind of like, or shall I do it like this? I just like to mimic sometimes, guys. I'm totally going to win this King of the Nerds, but if I don't, I'm happy I got this far basically like that. Um, 
But that was great. Just everything. Because it, it's intense. At, at the end, I found myself like, okay, Ben or Jonathan. Ben or Jonathan. I was literally like on like this. And I wasn't. I don't know why. Because I wanted Jonathan to win. But in a way, I wanted Ben to win. It was kind of like, who who do I go for at the end, you know? Um, so I'm glad Jonathan is the king, and I like how all of them get together, and you know, they're all friends, and I'm pretty sure all of them hang out still. Maybe. Probably not. If any of you actual King of the Nerd contestants are actually watching this video, what's up? Um, the reactions, of course, and just everyone's together, and the Bobby message, and overall, the whole point of an episode of King of the Nerds is, it's supposed to be enjoyable, it's supposed to be entertaining, it's supposed to be fun, and I definitely found myself saying, out of eight episodes, this is by far the best episode, because everyone's in it, Jacob, even, he got eliminated the first week, and we see him actually interacting with the group, and we get to see them, see what they missed out, and they ask questions, and it's enjoyable overall so I'm gonna give this episode an A plus because literally it's my favorite episode out of the season it's enjoyable it has everything so cool about it and it's rewatchable and re really fun and season three is by far the best season of King of the Nerds by far hands down now thank you guys so much for watching my King of the Nerds review for the past eight weeks you do not know how much I love reviewing King of the Nerds, guys. I'm seriously sad that it's only eight weeks. Please, if you're going to renew it for a season four, give it ten weeks, man. Give it ten episodes at most. But I want to say thank you to everyone who's come back week after week to watch my reviews. And people who have been just for one or two weeks, thank you so much. Make sure to check out my King of the Nerds review if you haven't, guys. Um, just again... Let's give ourselves a round of applause, guys, for eight amazing weeks of King of the Nerds. There hasn't been one week where I was kind of like, this sucked. All of them were good, either good or great or entertaining level of proportions. So, let's give it out right now. Oh, hell, Jonathan is King of the Nerd. No, thank you. I like to consider myself King of the Nerd, so... Sorry, Jonathan. Not this time. But, uh, you know... I'm Batman. So... Pretty much that's it guys thanks so much for uh watching a plus i'm not giving it an a plus just because it's the season finale it's actually really fun and i actually found myself laughing a lot and l watching all the other facial reactions i could see um colby's reaction when he's behind someone he's kind of like still doing that so um yeah remember there's no there hasn't been no rumors or confirmation of a season four yet but um, my chance is about 50 to 70% of a season 4 actually happening. So hopefully, hashtag nerds rule and hashtag save K-O-T-N, save King of the Nerds. Thanks again for watching and joining me on this amazing adventure. I will announce right now that if a season 4 is announced, I will make a video on it. And also, you damn... You know, you know, what am I saying? You sure as hell bet your $100,000 or whatever you get from Keenan Nerds. I will be reviewing season four. I will be back, baby. Thanks again for watching. May the spot be with you always. Bobby, get better. Curtis, Bobby, you guys are a great, great freaking team of hosts. We love you. Come back. Please. Season, one more season, one more season, come on. Till next time, guys. Stay nerdy, but not white.